money out of nothing to inflate the currency. They have no other trick. So as long as we keep looking to them to be our leaders and solve the problem, how can we expect anything else? That's the only trick they know. The, the only trick there, other trick there is is to stop inflating and to go back to a sound currency. And that would say, they'd say, oh, no, we can't do that. And the reason they can't do that is because it would put them all out of business. They wouldn't be able to continue the Ponzi scheme. Even with cracks forming in the current financial system, the only solutions offered by governments are in fact just more steps down the road to disaster. But while a single person may not be able to save the world, there is still something you can do to protect your family and yourself. You cannot turn to a, a Ponzi schemer and ask him to, do, to run a real business because he doesn't know how. So you can't turn to all of these Ponzi schemers in government who are inflating the currency and say, well, let's solve the crisis in some other way because they don't know how. So the solution is to quit depending on the same people with the same mentality to solve our problems. If governments won't go back on a gold standard, individuals can go back on the gold standard all by themselves. Politicians can create fiat money at will. That's why it's fiat. So why would you want to put your faith in that? Put your trust in politicians and bureaucrats and central bankers when you could just have something real that has intrinsic value, that is scarce, and that is going to remain scarce. Would you rather have gold or fiat currency? And we see what's happening in the world, and obviously people are starting to figure out that gold is, is was likely to sustain its value way more than a piece of paper is. It's not that the price of gold is going up, it's that the value of the dollar is going down. The price remains constant in terms of human effort and purchasing power. An ounce of gold today will buy the same thing it bought 2,000 years ago. An ounce of gold today is approximately takes so much human effort to get out and refine the same human effort that it took to do certain things 2,000 years ago. It's the human effort equation that maintains stability. How much effort does it take? Gold is financial insurance. And the thing about it is you own it because you want to be protected. And, you know, you, you just have to have it if you want to have or, or sleep at night because there's nothing else. You know, if some catastrophic event happens and we've seen them, uh, how are you going to be protected?